I'll be reacting to my 2023-24 Scottish Premier League predictions that I made back in July. Some of these are stinkers, some of these I actually did quite well. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with 12th place and I have gone for Motherwell. Oh, uh, Motherwell fans, you will not like me for this one. I have made a big mistake with this one. I predicted Motherwell to finish bottom. They finished in ninth. Again, not at the best of seasons, but not at the worst of seasons they've had. They've been pretty mid. Pretty what they really expected, what fans expected. But I didn't think Motherwell would do this well. Again, if Kim Van Veen leaving, Max Johnson leaving, I thought they would struggle. But players like Blair Spell, Theo Bear have come up clutch for Motherwell and have saved them. They've been so pivotal for that well team this season, leading them, yes, in the bottom six, yes, in ninth place, but another season in the SPFL. Motherwell, I am sorry. I predicted them to finish in 12th. They finished in ninth. In 11th, and I've gone for St. Johnston. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. If Motherwell had done me a favour on the final day, I would have got this spot on. St. Johnston, I predicted 11th. They got 10th. Oh, I was so close. I was inches. I was this close from getting it spot on. But, of course, never goes the way you want, does it? St. Johnston, everyone expected them to do not quite well. And they didn't do quite well. But they avoided the drop and they get to play another season in the top flight. So fair play to them. And after this pre-season they had, after the Premier Sports Cup group stage they had, people did not have confidence confidence for them at all. They just didn't have a good pre-season, a good start to the season. But they sacked their manager, brought in Craig Levine, did all right to start with and then fell off a little bit. But St Johnston, they stay up. On goal difference. In 10th, and I've gone for Dundee. I've had a rotter with this one, an absolute rotter. Dundee, I predicted them to finish in 10th. They finished 6th. I was four places off, and I'm fuming. I underestimated this Tony Doherty lineup so much. Dundee have had a brilliant season, unbelievable season, and credits has to go to Tony Talk, Tony, Tony Doherty after the season he has had, finishing in the top six. For the club stature of Dundee is incredible, and credits some of the players on their team: Luke McGowan, Bakayoko, Portales. Some of those players outstanding every single week for Dundee. And I knew they would stay up with the players they've got, the transfers they made. I knew they would stay up, but I didn't expect them to do this well. In ninth, and I've gone for Ross County. Next up is Ross County, and I predicted them to finish. In ninth, they finished in the relegation playoff spot in 11th place. And the moment, the time I'm currently recording this video, they've got a big playoff final uh Final first leg at Wraith Rovers. I was there last Friday. You go and check out that vlog. Link will be in the description down below. Ross County, poor. Just poor. They've been through too many managers. Malky Mackay, they've been through Don Cowie. They've been through... They, um... Oh, I forgot his name. They went through that former Morkin manager. Um... And yeah, it's just not been good for Ross County this season. It's been horrible. It's been dull. Losses and losses and losses. And, um, but recently I've picked up a little bit of form. They beat Rangers a few weeks ago. So that's probably one of the best wins in their history. But Ross County, they have to go into the relegation playoff spot. Wish them all the best. But pff, I predicted them to finish in ninth. They finished in 11th. Eighth, and I've gone for Kilmarnock. Oh, 
Oh, I've had another rotter. Kilmarnock. Oh, what have I done? I predicted them to finish in eighth. They finished in fourth in a European spot. Well, I definitely did not expect this. They definitely overachieved this season. To think they were a championship club about three or four years ago is un is crazy to think of. Derek McInnes, what a job he's done. So many of those Kilmarnock players deserve so much credit. Will Dennis, David Watson, Danny Armstrong, Cal Vassell, Mike Kennedy, Molly Watkins, the list goes on. That Kilmarnock team is one to be reckoned with for seasons and seasons. If Derek McInnes can keep hold of his players, they will be unbelievable in Europe, in my opinion. Kilmarnock totally underestimated you. Seventh, and it is Livingston. Yeah, I've had another bad one here. Livingston, just not good enough. Not good enough. I predicted them to finish in seventh. They finished rock bottom by 10 points. 10 points, rock bottom. Livingston, poor. They've been so poor, so, so poor. Last season, they were in a European spot. They were in third for about a few weeks. They were in a European. They were in a European spot until December, a year ago, and now they're in the championship. I think for the structure of the club, Livia, a very small club. Don't get me wrong. I think they kind of deserve to be in the championship, make their way up, build themselves up because they're not a very big club. Let's be honest. And the the fans they get every week, it's it's not great. But Livingston, wish them all the best in the Championship and possibly see them in the Premiership next year. Ooh, top six, and it is St Mirren. Ooh, I've done quite well here, I think. In my opinion, I've done quite well here. St Mirren, my prediction was sixth. They finished in fifth. I actually did quite well with this. People would have thought St Mirren, tough season, maybe eighth, ninth. No. Top six, and they delivered. St Mirren had a very good season. Finishing in the top six where they wanted to be for so many years. They have a team to do it. They have a manager to do it. And they've done it. In Paisley, and fair play to St Mirren. They've been very, very good this season. And they've been a very big powerhouse at home. It is a very tough place to go at Paisley. And they've delivered this season. They've proved all the fans wrong and they've done it. Stephen Robinson has done it. My prediction was sixth and they finished in fifth. Part of the back, Aaron. This will get a bit controversial. Now, I've gone for Hearts to finish in fifth place. Fifth? And I've, I've gone for Hearts in this one. And... Mm, I underestimated them, I, I think, a little bit. I predicted them to finish below Hibs. Oh, I've, I've just, I've just scored out the next team. Never mind, Hearts. They have finished in a European spot by a landslide. And fair play, fair play to Hearts. They've had a very, very good season. People, on, people did not expect Stephen Naismith to do as well as he has done this season. Stephen Naismith, he came in. Isn't really hasn't got much experience as a full time manager, but it's come in and done very well. This Hearts team, especially one man and one man only, Lauren Shankland, carrying them to a European spot until December. So fair play to Hearts. I totally underestimated you. I predicted fifth. They finished in third. Top four now, and this is where we get into the more um, European spots. I've gone for Hibs. Yeah, this is a very bad prediction in my hands. Hibs. I predicted fourth and they finished in eighth in the bottom six. Hibs have had a very bad season. Oh, a season to forget for Hibs. Going through some, going through Lee Johnson, going through Nick Montgomery and just sacking him and going through David Gray as interim yet again. Hibs have had a very, very poor season in my in my eyes. They've had a very, very poor season under Nick Montgomery as he came in. Didn't do the best of jobs. But 
look, Hibs, you're going to have to re-squad for next season. You're going to have to get rid of some of those players because some of those players are not good enough. And you're going to have to bring in players that are good enough. Hibs, definitely didn't expect this from you. I predicted 8th. I, I didn't predict 8th. I predicted 4th and they finished in 8th. In 3rd, and it is my beloved Aberdeen FC. Second, and here you go, it's the two old firm clubs, Rangers. Yes, I have finally predicted something correct. And yes, this one wasn't very hard. Rangers, I predicted second, and they finished second. Get in, come on. I nearly got this wrong. I, re I nearly got this one wrong, though. That's the thing. Rangers, now what can I say? What can I say about their season? Started with Michael Beale, went with Philip Clement. He's done very, very good this season, Philip Clement. He came in, knew how knew his style of football totally battered the league, apart from Celtic. And that's why they didn't win the league. Um they won the League Cup. That's a trophy. Take off the list. They've got the Scottish Cup final on tomorrow, as you're watching this video, the twenty fifth of May, against Celtic. Their rivals, so who knows? But I th even though Rangers did bottle it in the end to Celtic, I think they should still be proud of their season. They fought and fought until the end, and then bottled it. Rangers fans, you will not like you. They would you would not like Celtic winning the league yet again. But we all predicted that. Rangers, I predicted second. They finished second. And in first place. Look, this is such a shock. I've put Celtic. Yes, and I got another one correct. Not very hard. It's Celtic. Champions yet again. What's that? Three, four in a row now? And Celtic are racking up the titles every single year. Yes, Rangers did give them a challenge. And yes, Celtic did not have the best of seasons at all. Under Bredgen Rogers coming back in after Ange went to Spurs. But they got the job done. They had a, a very, very slow December, I think. Struggled in the slump in December. And then last couple of weeks, last couple of months, they've been unstoppable. James Forrest has come out of his shell and it has become the James Forrest we have seen from 2017, 2016. And Celtic have just been bagging in the goals, left, right and centre. And that is why they have won the league. Congrat I'm sorry to say this, but congrats to them. <sighs> yes, as an Aberdeen fan, it hurts. It just hurts. Us finishing in the bottom six. But we've got the Jimmy Thelen era. Hopefully we can do it. But yes, that is my SPFL predictions. Reacting to my predictions. Hopefully... You guys liked what I said back in July, and I hope you guys liked what I did get. Uh, I had a few stinkers, had a few okay predictions, but comment down below what your thoughts on this season. Has it been a very entertaining one, or has it not? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.